the volunteers and I, we're here actually today to do a macro invertebrate survey. Although as you can see, we're also having a lot of fun, um, enjoying the really beautiful place that we're at, which is a reserve on the southern edge of Sydney. It's called Darawang, and it's a really special place. It's wild, and at this stage, it's probably underutilised by people as reserves like the Royal National Park are bursting at the seams, perhaps there's going to be a need in future for people to sort of explore these areas. Uh, why are we doing this macroinvertebrate survey? We're doing it because macroinvertebrates are a really good indicator of water quality and also biodiversity values. And so we're part of a community effort to participate with scientists in data collection. The data obviously is just useful and I guess it's for us it's demonstrating the point that this reserve is worth protecting because of its high water quality value and its high biodiversity value. The Georges River catchment is home to more than a million people. So that's more than a million people who are stakeholders. All of the tributaries obviously have something to do with downstream water quality. So it's really important if you care about water quality in the Georges River, you need to care about water quality in all of those hidden streams somewhere in the headwaters of the catchment because they're contributing good clean water to the system. So you can see the Georges River is the sum of all of its tributaries. I'm here because I want to learn more about the environment I live in and I often drive past this area and haven't really stopped to look at what's here. So today I've come to have a very close look and I'm looking at lots of little creepy crawly invertebrates and it's been great fun. Well something that I've learned is that um, they're very hard to see. <laughs> Um, that there's actually quite a lot there that isn't instantly obvious and how much is goes into making our environment what it is. There's um, sometimes there's the very obvious large things that you see. You might see the crayfish or platypus but there are all these little insects that go in to make our environment work the way it works. I think getting community members involved in surveying provides data about natural values of areas. But I also think that it's just generally important because it's just a very concrete way of reconnecting people to nature. It demonstrates how it can be done in a really useful way, but it's also fun. And if you asked me what is really important about getting into places like this, wild places like this, it's about that. It's about urban people needing to be reconnected to nature. It's not even about looking at pretty pictures of it. It's not even about just walking through it. But it's about using and interacting with the environment in a way that is also beneficial because it's also yielding scientific data. favourite bug? Probably the caddisfly because you find a little stick and you think well nothing's happening there and suddenly the little stick moves and it's actually a home for the insect. Hmm. Here's an example of some of the macro invertebrates that we caught and uh, what we actually did find was there were 12 different orders of macro invertebrates caught here today which shows that this particular habitat is very healthy and uh, the place is very biodiverse. Our signal score was 5.34 that indicates it's a really healthy waterway. Having done all of the hard work associated with this survey, and of course it's been fun anyway, but now we'll be returning all of these to the habitat and I think we've earned the swim we're just about to have.